My Language is Necessary is a poem about why it's important that I speak rather than keeping quiet about my inner thoughts. Um, my thoughts may not resonate with a lot of people, but I don't think anyone's thoughts resonates with other people. And I think everybody has different you know, thoughts or ideas, and a lot of people do suppress them. And I think we should speak more about, about what everyone's thinking. Really. It's okay not to know. For I did not create the trees, leaves, and bees. So how will I have all the answers? Plants grow, and it is food. How the universe looks after me. I am meant to be here, and that is all I need to know. When I perform poetry, people don't look at me as I don't know, six foot three, uh, dark skinned guy. They they just look at me as something to relate to, based on what I'm saying, rather than how they see me. So I think on that, on the nuances of that, it's actually quite powerful in terms of connecting people. And I think I saw how much it connected with others, and then I realised for myself is actually not for me to keep for myself. It's actually to it's showing me that we're all actually connected in a weird, fantastic way. And you might feel how I feel, but I might have the words that you just can't get out. This is for the riots and the silence, for the lovers and the love loss, for the tidy and the rugged, face coverers and the colourful, for the seekers of space through a telescope or the cool pickers of telephones. I would say as a society we are quite emotionally repressed. Um, and I do feel like spoken word in its art form is fantastic for that specifically. Um, I do feel like a lot of spoken word nowadays anyways, or new form spoken word, is a lot of social commentary. I feel like as a people, we are becoming a lot more aware as well. Um, and we're also becoming a lot more creatively aware as well. So there are a lot of young people who want to express themselves, who don't know how to do it, who are actually turning to spoken words to get all of the things and all of the issues with the world off their chest. If I'm not what you're looking for, go fish. And if you ever try to catch me again, make sure you don't miss. You can find me on the net. That's Chloe Carter with two R's. I said what I said. My name is easy to remember, but I'm harder to forget. My name is easy to remember, but I'm harder to forget. My name is easy to remember, but I'm harder to forget. You regret. That's Carter with two R's correct. If you don't act right, shuffle to the left. I see my poetry as like this type of plaster. So when all of the destruction and heartbreak is going on, I write a poem and I put it on there and it kind of heals the past, yeah. I feel like it's a very positive thing. I feel like even me, like a way that it helps me is that it helps me become more confident with talking to people. Like a year ago, I would have never ever gone on stage. I actually walked in here, they asked me, do you want to perform? I said, no, I'm not performing. And I sat down, but yeah, I just changed my mind. I'm not here to make arguments based on fictitious morality. What I'd like to see is the facts laid out here in front of me. We are bombing them now, therefore we must offer some of them shelter. Tell me, if we prick them, do they not bleed? <laughs>